Hello, hello. We are at my desk because all of the journals I want to talk about have a home right there. And I also didn't feel like sitting on my floor. So today I am going to go ahead and go through my 2024 journal lineup. This is always subject to change. Haha, <laughs> subject like notebook. Um, I'm funny. <laughs> so it's always like subject to change. This kind of is like a fluid system. If I feel like adding something else, I will. If I don't, I don't. Um, but this is what I've got going on so far uh, and am ready for it this year or this coming year. So I'm just going to pull off the top of the stack and talk you guys through. So this first journal is a handmade paper journal from TJ Maxx. It was in one of those bundles. Basically, this is to keep track of my health. Um, I don't have health problems. This is just me wanting to be better. So I broke it into some sections. There's nutrition, spiritual, financial, life balance, stress relief, exercise, and sleep. And it's kind of like rating yourself on all of those scales and what you like. And I just wanted a place to write it down and like keep it in one spot. Um, because I really need to start to, need to start taking my health more seriously. So that lives up here. And I think I'm going to try to update that once a week if I can. Then I have this book. This is kind of, um, a placeholder in a way, but not really. Um, I have this kind of, this journal is kind of like going to serve two different purposes. So I have, um, a Bible journaling journal that I take all my notes in, that I pray in and such. But this is kind of a combination of both Bible journaling, Bible journaling and life. This is going to be more of a life journal than anything else, just because what I write in here is more of um, just what God's teaching me and what I'm learning and like how my life is going. Like there's a lot of hard stuff in this journal right now and that's fine like I get it out I put it on paper and I it's just really helpful this is a archer and archer and olive um notebook the inside pages are blank I don't want to open it just because there is some pretty personal stuff in here but I really like it so far there's been a lot that God's been teaching me this year so it's been really nice to have it like in a place where I can keep it documented and all together and also like I've realized that I can't I was trying to compartmentalize for too long um I was there we go I was trying to separate my normal thoughts from my spiritual thoughts and because my so much of my life is lived for the Lord like I can't separate those two things anymore so I'm just gonna make that my life journal once I'm done with um, the current traveler's notebook insert I'm working through then I have this this was from my best friend for my birthday a couple of years ago and you've seen this on my channel multiple years in a row because it is my reading journal um with my reading journal I needed something functional that I could do whatever I wanted in um that was all book related just because like all of the book like journals that I've seen are all so structured um that it wasn't gonna work for me so I have a brief idea of how I'm going to do 2024. Um, I have some reads. Oh, this is actually from 2023 still because I needed a new page for books that I've read. Um, I have 20, 24 and 24. I have reading goals. I have some quotes. I have a books read page. I have a book haul page. I have a library TBR. I want to put in an own TBR once my library one's done. Um... And then I will just kind of do whatever I want with it, to be honest. Like, I needed something functional. I needed something creative. I needed something fun. And so I came up with this. And I love using Moleskines. They're one of my favorite notebooks. The paper quality is great. And this also lives on my desk. But since I took the pen, the pen off, I'm just going to leave it there for now. In the Moleskines, I love using the 0.7 Pilot G2s. They are great. The ink is just like super black, like super dark black, which I really love. Then on this little pile, 
I have my little tiny notebook. It's from Archer and Olive too. I loved this little itty bitty baby book stack with coffee. And I have a Pilot Juice pen that's like a vintage color. And basically this notebook is for any time I read a five star book because it's so tiny that I just thought that would be really fun to just kind of have one place where my five star books go. So I started this soon after I got it. So I only have four in there right now, but I've caught up the secret history. If we were villains, iron flame and ruthless vows, because even though that book's not out, I know it's going to be a five star. And then I use this really pretty green juice pen in 0 0.5, I think, which is really, really fun. Then this is my 2024 bullet journal. <laughs> um, I have been using my bullet journal cal calendar that I made last year like no one's business. So I knew that that's how I was going to want to do it again this year. Um, I have already pre-set up almost all of the pages. I haven't done the weeklies yet because I will do those as I plan, but I have all the calendar pages done. I have all of the tabs, the month tabs tabbed. I cut down, if you can see, I cut my weeklies this year. I cut the pages down so the weeklies were a little bit easier to tell where they were. Um, I use a Pilot Needlepoint pen. This is a Harry Potter one. It's actually kind of cool. Um, I got it off of Stationery Pal. Um, but I love the way the ink writes on this paper. And this is also 120 GSM, so it's a little bit thicker. So the pages don't bleed through. Like, they don't ghost, they don't shadow as much. And also you get, like, just thicker paper. And then this is a Taryn and Andarna sticker from uh, Maggie Moose on Netflix or Maggie Moose on Netflix. Or not on Netflix. My goodness, my brain is not working. Etsy. Maggie moves on Etsy, for goodness sake. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. And then my last two journals, this is going to be my 2024 life journal. I have not set it up yet. I'm thinking about filming it, but I use the Midori A5 grids. Um, this is going to be my last of this life journal style, just because they do get a little bit pricey, and I've been using them for so long. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these that or six that I've filled. Seven, this one's almost done, and then this will be eight for next year. And I kind of want to start actually using the notebooks on my shelf. So this will probably be the last A5 grid Midori that you see for my creative journal. But who knows, you know? I, I mean I don't know. Maybe I'll get more. Um, this paper that I wrapped around is just a paper from Flow, from the Flow Paper Lovers magazine. Um, I loved it a lot. Either that or it's Maggie Holmes wrapping paper. It's one of the two. Um, I loved the blue and I liked that it just fit right on the cover of this. So I just thought it looked kind of cool. So setup will probably be coming for that. And then this is a new decision. I haven't really done anything yet because I'm still honestly debating on if I want to do it at all um but I was thinking about adding a commonplace book to my lineup so this is a Daiso notebook um that I bought when I went to Las Vegas and I thought about I was just thinking about adding a commonplace book to my lineup but I'm not sure I really like the paper quality I like that it's blank it's just really nice and the spiral lays flat almost to the page so your hand isn't like running into it as you're writing whether you're left or right-handed but yeah I just really thought it might be fun um, because I love words I love quotes I love images and things I just thought this would be really fun and then my last journal is this teeny tiny journal that I got from Joanne Fabrics for two dollars when I was home and it's basically just a little blank paper stapled actually stitched wow look at that high quality stitched um notebook that i thought i would write youtube video ideas in um or just like have it on my desk if i need to scribble something in my goal has never been to be a professional youtuber but sometimes i need to put have a place to write down things that i think might be fun to film um and so i just 
use this for that. And I use a little mechanical pencil and the pencil writes really nicely on this paper. So I just thought that would be a good idea to have. And all of almost all of these things just kind of live right here. Um, and I use them almost, a lot of these I'm reaching for almost daily. My reading journal, not so much, but a lot of them I'm reaching for almost daily. So I hope that you enjoyed my good old journal tour for next year. The only thing that I didn't have here was probably my quotes journal, but I honestly don't reach for my quotes journal too much. And if I'm going to start a commonplace journal, I'm not going to use the quotes one very often. Um, so I hope that you're having a good day or night and I will catch you soon. Bye.